she'll be back. Okay. So we're going to do our last lesson on exponential and logarithmic functions. The goal today is to walk out of here feeling confident that you can solve any exponential or logarithmic equation. All right, so it's really split up into kind of two halves here. The first half is going to be all about solving exponential equations. All right, does anybody remember what you're trying to do when you solve exponential equations? Find the roots. That's really more of polynomials when we're trying to graph them with roots. You're trying to find the value for x that makes it true, but there's something you want to do on each side of the equation. There's something you need on each side of the equation. And the same, not the same answer. You need the same base. Galileo, what up? You're trying to rewrite each side using the same base. So that's kind of goal number one. If you can get both sides of the equation to have the same base, you're going to see you're good to go to find the answer here. It becomes more like algebra one. So that's the whole point of the first half of this class. See if you can rewrite both sides using the same base. So let's look at one that already has both sides with the same base. Example one, read this for us. Uh, let's go with Aiden. Read this one for us. Excellent. So when you look at that, Aiden, what do you notice about both sides of the equation? Excellent. So if they both have the base of 2, does anyone know what we can set equal to each other? Yes, Galileo. The exponent. So I'm going to write down x minus 1 equals 2x minus 4. Once we have the same base, then we just have to find out what makes the exponents the same. And now it becomes something you did in late middle school or early high school. All right, so let's do this a little quicker here. How do you want to move, Edgar? Which direction do you want to move? Okay, so what would you do first? Divide. Not divide. We got our variables on the same side first. Like, do you want to move the x or the two x? The x. The x. Okay, so we're going to move the x by subtracting x. So that leaves us with negative one equals. Now, what's the right side, Edgar? Not three x. You can't see. You want to move up? Do you want to move up? Okay. Those are helpful. All right. Since Edgar's getting his glasses out, let's see. Sylvester, what would you do? Pick up where he left off. Excellent. So what is that going to mean for our value for x? Now, do we know if that's right? Not yet. So what could you do to make sure it's correct? You can plug it in. So we have two. What's going to be our exponent on the left side, Emmanuel? I plug in three for x. Two. So two squared. You guys know what that is. What about for the right side? Ooh, a little tougher. Jalen, what do you got for the right side? Two to what power? Negative one. How'd you get negative one on the right side? What'd you do in your brain? Say it again. Three minus four. Is it three minus four up here? Is that 3 minus 4 up here? No, that was 2. Ah, so tell us. You kind of mumbled those words because your brain was doing it. Say out loud what you did. 2 times 3 minus 4. There you go, which is 2 squared. Excellent. So we see that we have gotten the correct answer. Questions on that? All right. Everybody see what we're trying to do. Now, let's go to the example 2. And this time, when you read it, you'll notice something about these bases. Let's read this one for us. Peter. Okay, Peter, what do you notice right away when you read that? The bases are not the same. So what do you want to do about that? Excellent. So what base would you use? Like, how are you going to change them? You want them to be the same. Right now they're 8 and 16. They're not the same, so what can you do? By 2. So can you do that? If I were to multiply this 
side times 2, would that give me 16? Yes, but what? You got to do it to both sides. So you, going down that road is not going to help us. Oh, so you want to use 2? Why would you use 2, Susanna? Two to the third power. Ah, two to the third power is eight. I think I talked over you. Go ahead. Two to the what? Okay, so Susanna's brain sees that two cubed is eight, and two to the fourth power is sixteen. That's using the same base of two to write them on each side. I'm going to pause here. Any questions on how that happened? Now would be the time to raise your hand. Do you have any questions? about how we just use 2 to rewrite 8 and 16. Do you that? Okay. Now, we don't just have cube and, and to the fourth power on each side now. We had original exponents. So I need to bring down those original exponents. So you have x plus 2 and you have x plus 1. Now think back to last week. We did this last week. What happens when you have a power raised to another power? So on both sides, you've got a power raised to another power. What should we do? Sabrina. Sabrina. What do you think, Sabrina? Multiply, good ears. Sabrina says multiply. So we're going to have two. What's going to be my new power, Sabrina, on that left side? Yep. 3x plus... Excellent. Thank you for the assist behind her, Jalissa. Appreciate that. All right. You got to distribute to both terms. So, Sabrina, give me the other side. I didn't hear the last number. I'm sorry. Excellent. And now look where we are. We are exactly where we were to start example one. All right. So everything from here is stuff that you've already done. So let's bring down just the exponents and solve these. All right, let's see. Uh, Juliana, what do you want to do first when you look at this? 3x plus 6 equals 4x plus 4. What do you want to do? Okay, so you want to move the 3x over? All right. So that leaves us with what, Juliana? Excellent. I think you know what that is. Excellent. Do I know if that's right? Let's check it. All right, Sylvester, you're excited about this one. What do you got for me on the left side? 8 to what power? 8 to what power on the left side? You're good. You're sitting. You're all good. Okay. Okay. So, um, I just thought. You're good. You said we got this answer. You're good there, right? Now I'm going. Okay. So, this is four. Great. So, 8 to the 4 power. You know that off the top of your head? 8 to the 4 power? No. I don't either. Oh, look how far away they are. We need 8 to the 4th power, Kayla. Just one time. Oh, we got something. 384. 384. Kayla, can you confirm for us? We're holding. To the 4th? Yes, to the 4th power. What did she do? 384. No, I got 4th power. Uh-oh. That's a... That's you did 4 times 64, so it's... Oh, that didn't work? Do 64 times 64 again. Okay. <laughs> What'd you get? 4,000? 0, 9, 6. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Brissa, can you give me the right side, please? Well, what's the right side going to be? 16 to what power? Oh, she's, gonna, she's already pulling out the calculator. That's how legit she is. Already pulling it out. What are you doing in that calculator, Bruce, if you don't mind me asking? I'm trying to find the same number. You're trying to find the same number, but what are you raising 16 to? What power are you going to use on 16? So remember, Sylvester took this number at the bottom, and he plugged it in up here to get 4. 2 plus 2 is 4. She's typing, but she ain't talking to us. Okay. Say it again. So you did 16 squared? 
Now, Three. 16 cubed. And what did you get 16 cubed? Uh, 4, what up? So it works. Thanks, Marissa. Any questions on example one or two? Because you're about to start your own problems. Any questions? All right, you know the drill. Stand up, find your spot, try the next at your boards problems. Go! <laughs> 